Hey everybody, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my LB20, the show in the New York Mets franchise. This is episode 11, here we are for a June 3rd game. Uh, the Astros are leading the series 1-0, and it's a two-game series, so either they win it or we tie. But we got Jacob DeGrom on the mound, who's 8-1, and one, with a 3.38 ERA. So we're trying to keep that uh, the side young bid for back-to-back-to-back. Uh, so we're gonna try to get this W. But before I get started, uh, I just wanna make. Sure, I just wanna say, I hope you guys are safe out there. That you guys are healthy. That your families are okay. Um, and I'm also doing a charity, um, a charity with Streamlabs uh, for Direct Relief COVID-19 response. Uh, basically, what it is is that Direct Relief is coordinating uh, with public health authorities, nonprofit organizations, and businesses to provide personal protective equipment and other items to health workers responding to coronavirus. Um, with me being uh, one of the frontliners, I'm a nurse full time. This charity means a lot. Um, you know, it's we, we've been in this for for over a month now, so it's been. It's been very rough on myself and my other co-workers. Um, so if there's any money you can donate from whatever you guys can afford, um, I would appreciate it so much. I'll leave a link down below, and let's get this game started. One, two, two, Altuve. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto has to, to right field, and that is the first time. I just want to surprise you guys with the black jerseys and Shea Stadium. I think, and this is in a Friday game, but for future episodes, if I play a Friday game, I'll do a flashback Friday to City Field, uh, to, to Shea Stadium, and the black jerseys. So we're home, and he's gonna be. Safe but it's not at home. That's an RBI play. single, and the Astros are up one nothing here in the first inning. Well, that's a good base hit by Nimmo. It's going to be at least a double. That is a leadoff double by Brandon Nimmo. Good start. Oh, that is a shot by Jeff McNeil, and this is a no doubter. And the Mets are up. 2-1 to one here in the first inning. Jeff McNeil hitting number 15 of the year, going 418 feet. Two-run shot. They just hung up there. And you can't make a mistake against the Mets because they will out-hit you. Colors paint for it. That is a no-doubter for Jeff. Squirrel McNeil. Two ball, two base loaded. Got him swinging with a slider. Out number two. Oh no, that's a grand slam. Oh my gosh. That makes things five to two. Brantley with a grand slam. Damn it. Ooh, that froze him. That throws Correo. That's a nasty curveball. Set for the start of the fourth. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yuli Guriel. Oh my gosh, DeGrom is getting tattooed. This is gonna be another home run. Six to two. That's a good hit. Going opposite field. That is Michael Conforto opening up the inning with a double. This is what they need to just chip at the lead. It's still early in the game. So, that opens things up for the Mets. Sorry, a little blooper, and it's going to drop. That's going to be a run. So, it's going to be 6-3 now here in the fourth inning. Rosario with a decent base hit. That is another shot by... And it's off the wall. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oof. I thought that was going to be another home run by McNeil. That's why I was kind of uh, I lost for words. He's lasered that, tattooed it off the wall. And I didn't know if that was going to be either caught or a home run, so I never really advanced with Nimmo. We'll count to Alonzo. We know he can. 
tie things up with a single swing here. And he does! Pete Alonso launching it to left field and it's out of here! That is a three run shot by Pete Alonso, number 25. Wow, Pete Alonso coming in clutch against McCullers and the Astros. We're back to tie game. Unbelievable. Pete Alonso, he should be in the MVP race right now. Holy moly. And just like that, they're right back in it. Huge three run bomb. I was just talking about the strength and his power. And it comes up. It must be those magical black jerseys that he's always wanted to wear. And now a tie game. In now the slider. That is a strikeout for Jacob DeGrom. That is a big strikeout, number six of the game. And that is a shot by Dominic Smith, and it is out of here. The Mets grab the lead, seven to six. And Dominic Smith continues to show his importance on this team. That is number eight in the season. He was just able to uppercut that to right field. And the Mets grab the lead. Stepping in now, Brandon Nimmo. Oh my gosh. That is another home run for the Mets. This time, Brandon Nimmo. He is 4 4 4. And that is number 17 of the year. That makes things 9 to 3. For him on the season as they jump ahead by three. What a moonshot from Brandon Nimmo. One, two to one, Correa. Two. Got him swinging with, with a two seam. Three. That ends the inning. Benz yeah, comes out one. big for the bullpen. All right, because Brad Hand, hand the newly acquired Brad Hand, this one off here in the top for the Mets' bullpen. And that's just some of the changes we've had to make to make our team more dominant. The bullpen has always been an issue for me, and, well, Brad Hand is definitely one of those guys who can help. Now to the plate. One and two to Brantley. Last strike now for Houston. Got him swing! Houston. And that is the ball game, and the Mets win! Nine to six. The Mets had to battle down from 6-2. There was that uh, RBI by Rosario, and then we had that three-run home run by Alonzo. And ever since they tied it up, that was it. The Mets hit that home run by Nimmo, the two-run shot, and also the one by Dominic Smith, and that put away the game. Jacob DeGrom was a little rough in the beginning, settled down. Once he got that lead and then the bullpen just shut things down. It was Bettences, Winkler, then Hand. That is the trio for my bullpen now and they seem dominant. Player of the game, Brandon Nimmo, 4-4 with a home run and a double. Winning pitcher again is Jacob DeGrom. Right hand gets the save. Mets power game continues to own. That is the story of the year so far. As they tie up the series against Houston. So, Jacob DeGrom is now 9-1 with a 3.7 ERA. Um, he, I'm sure he's in the contendership for the Cy Young Award, but we'll have, we'll have to take a look. But the next game is going to be Noah Syndergaard against the Nationals who are 25-36. Um, so we're going to send that through, and our next episode will be uh, against St. Louis. So we're going to send all up to this date. Uh, simulate draft. Okay, so we're up. Oh boy. Justin wins. Wilson's up. Washington looks like they fought back. Simulate to the end. And the Mets win, 7-4. Uh, so stop simulating. We'll take a look at the stats here. Justin Wilson gets the win. Um, let's see, let's take a look at the offense for the Mets. Alonzo hitting out the home run as well as Cespedes. Um, and let's see for pitching. Syndergaard gave a four runs, so 11 strikeouts, six and, uh, six and two thirds inning. Familia had a blown save, of course. Uh, 
Wilson with a win in hand with, with his 17th save. I'm all right with that. So that's a great start to the series. Again, let's continue simulating. He wins 72, and then there is a situation for the Mets. Mets is a shutout going, so let the game. We went 7 to 1. Let's take a look at the stats here. And great game by Matt. Uh, what do we got here? We got a home run by Rosario, Conforto, and Marisnik. All right, cool. So we, we win the series against the Nationals, going for the sweep with Rick Porcello on the mound. And we. Uh, we lose. Utilize. We lose one to six. Max Scherzer, the winning pitcher. And we're gonna simulate this game it's against the St. Uh, Louis Cardinals. The They're 24 and 42. Uh, going for his 10th win. Let's see. St. Louis is up four to three. Jeff McNeil. Oh my goodness! I have to enter this game. That's a base hit. All right. So we got runners on first and second. And Conforto drives it to deep center field, and it's out of here with a walk-off home run for Michael Conforto. Oh my gosh, and the Mets win. Deep center field, Michael Conforto's number 15. What a walk-off victory for the Mets. Holy cow. This team is amazing. This team is amazing. Oh my gosh. Conforto with the winning home run. Unbelievable. No hit. He was 0 for 3 at the time. Comes in with the clutch 2 run home run to win the game. Mets win 5 to 4. Dan Winkle, the winning pitcher, now 2 and 1. Wow. That is the way to end an episode. Holy crap. So now, in the next game, we have Noah Syndergaard, who's 4 and 5, struggling so far in the year with a 4.5 year rate. We're going to be facing the 3 and 4, Mike, uh, Miles Mikolas, who's with a 3.86 year rate. So we try to win the series here. Uh, next episode, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB The Show uh, franchise. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and click that notification bell to be part of the gang. And hope you guys see you later. Take it easy and peace.